the maturation process is the biggest influence on whiskey because you've got something that's clear when it goes into the cask, something that's very immature, something that can have some unwanted characters and just putting in this wooden cask just loses all that. It's magic. It is absolutely wonderful what the cask do. No conocemos exactamente la antigüedad de las botas, pero sabemos que hay jeroglíficos egipcios y los romanos hablan sobre las botas. Entonces estimamos que sobre 2000 o 2500 años de antigüedad, pero nosotros utilizamos para el whisky en el mercado del whisky desde hace 200, 250 años. El envejecimiento de whisky en botas tiene un proceso muy importante para sobre todo los aromas y el color del whisky. Como todos sabemos, el whisky es totalmente transparente y después de un envejecimiento durante 15, 18 o este whisky de 21 años, toma el carácter, los aromas y el color de la madera. The majority of the new casks that we source for Glengoyne have come from Spain and we're involved in that from the from the very start. We're literally going over there, we're pointing at trees. The trees are felled in northern Spain. They're cut into staves, which dry in the sun for, for over two years. You could bake them in an oven, but it's not the, the Glengoyne way. And we take these staves down to Jerez in southern Spain, where they're made into casks. They're given to a sherry bodegas. We instruct them which sherry to put into them, which in our case is always a, a dry Oloroso sherry. The sherry will stay in there for about 28 months. The sherry is then emptied from the casks. The casks are broken down, sent over by ship, reassembled by our coopers, and nearly six years after we first commissioned that cask, we get to fill it with Glengoyne. A whisky cask will absorb and adsorb, so we get the new mixed spirit coming from the still out. So we pump it down and it hits the cask tomorrow. You've got a layer inside the cask, which is this active charcoal layer. Now this active charcoal layer, when you put new, new mixed spirit into it, that will remove the, uh, the immature qualities of the spirit. It will then start giving, it'll start giving the color from the oak, it starts giving that sherryness. La importancia del fuego es eh, fundamental para las botas. El fuego le da un carácter tostado, aromas de café, eh, da un color muy característico al roble, que después el, esos aromas van a pasar a whiskies de esta calidad. Sobre todo en vainillas, aromas de vainilla y café. The warehouses that we're, we're sitting in now, these are the very traditional, what they call Dunwich style of warehousing. So they're brick built and they allow for a relatively even cool atmosphere. I mean, it does get extremely cold in the winter, but it will not get overly hot in, in summertime because the cast, you now they are breathing, spirit will evaporate. As soon as you open that door, you get that lovely smell from these casks and you can't beat that. Some of it's still magical, really, because science is letting us know a little bit about what's going on, but it doesn't thoroughly know. And so that's the beauty of being in this environment. You've got this reaction going on, so we get smoothness coming on with the casks and we get the colour. And if we use sherry casks, which predominantly have been used for Glengoyne, you're getting lovely sherry flavours as well. It's not a perfect science. No, no, nobody knows what each cask is going to do because you can fill 100 casks in a row and there'll be 100 different whiskies coming out of those casks. It's our master blender's challenge to create a consistent nose, flavour and importantly, natural colour. Our whisky needs to taste the same year in, year out, so that for example the 10 year old must always taste like 10 year old. It's one of the most challenging but vital roles in the whole industry and we'd say a good master blender is definitely worth his weight in gold. For us the, the, the story of maturation is, is vitally, vitally important and it's how we use those sherry casts and how we mix them together with the older casts that define the true flavour of Glengoyne. <laughs>